So I did a few videos in the past couple weeks talking about my FT3D and it seemed to have some good reception and people were asking for more. So today we're going to be talking about programming this thing on the computer. When I look up how to program these guys, I always see RT Systems. RT Systems is a software for programming radios. It also costs extra money. The unfortunate part here, there's free software that's provided by Yesu for programming almost all of their radios. But when you Google the programming software, you don't see that. You only see RT Systems. So I think a lot of people go unaware that Yesu provides programs needed to program these radios. The unique thing about the FT3DR and the 2DR is they are actually not provided the right cable to program the radios. This guy you see here is provided with the FT3D and FT2DR uh, radios. And in fact, this is not a programming cable. It is strictly used for updating the radio. You cannot use these cables to program the radio. So what do we need? This method, without using the RT systems and buying their expensive software and cabling, we're going to be using a micro SD card, which goes into the radio, as you can see here. And if you don't have a micro SD card slot on your computer, you need an adapter. So I'll be using this USB um, micro SD card adapter that will go into my computer. If you don't have one, a link will provide, be provided below for one on Amazon. They're around four or five bucks. So the premise here is we are gonna be storing a backup of our radio configuration on the SD card. And then we're gonna take that over, put it in the computer, open it up on Yesu's ADMS program. And then we'll be able to edit our configuration and plug in frequencies from there. We save it to the backup, throw it back on the SD card, put it in the radio, restore the backup, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you have your radio, you want, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the SD card slot inserted into the radio for obvious purposes. So once you have your radio on, you're going to hold in the display button and we're going to go to SD card. And if this is the first time you're using this SD card in the radio, you'll want to go to format and tap it. Now unfortunately, I've already actually formatted this SD card and I'm using it at the moment, so I'm not going to do that. But once you do have it formatted, the next thing you're going to do is go to backup and then you're going to go to right to SD card and hit the display button. Mine's saying overwrite because I already have a backup. Just hit OK if that pops up for you. And it's going to take a few moments. <laughs> Alright, so once it's done, it'll say completed and that means that the backup is now stored on your SD card. So go ahead and power down your radio, take out that SD card. And use whatever method that you're going to to get this thing onto the computer. Like I said, I'll be using a, a little adapter here that will allow me to uh, pull up the files there. And let's go ahead and move over there. Alright, so once you're on your computer, you're going to want to download the program used uh, for the FT3D or FT2D. Uh, I'm using the FT3D, but I'm going to provide for both links below, and it's going to look just like this on the page. And this is from Yesu's website. So once you're here, uh, this, this is the file section of Yesu's website. You're going to go down to download the very bottom. It says FT3D uh, Programming Software ADMS. So you're going to click on that, and it's automatically going to download for you. Now mine is going to be downloading in a zip file, which uh, that means that the files need to be extracted out of the file for us to be able to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my desktop so you guys can see what I'm doing. So once your file is downloaded, it'll look a lot like this right here. Uh, you'll right click it and hit extract files. Hit OK. And you will get a new folder that pops up. And you'll open up the folder within that. And you'll want to go to setup.exe to start the installation of the software. So once that's installed, you're going to get a new icon on your desktop, a new application. It's called FT3D ADMS. Uh, at this time, let's go ahead and plug in our uh, SD card so we can go ahead and get that back up. So I'm just going to plug that in. So when you open up your SD card, uh, it's going to look all like this. You're going to go to FT3D, and then you're going to go to Backup. And the file we'll be using is either the Backup CSV or the Backup DAT. 
So just minimize that for now and go ahead and open up FT3D, uh, ADMS. So once it's open, uh, we're going to go to uh, Communications tab and then Get Data from SD Card. So this right here is asking us to search for that backup.dat folder. We already know where that's located at this point. So go ahead and open up your SD drive, FT3D, backup, backup.dat. And as you can see, it's imported all of the information of the channels I have in my radio at the moment. So if you've ever used any type of programming software whatsoever for a radio, you'll kind of have a head start here on what, uh, what to do. But it's mostly self-explanatory. Um, I'll just do some quick tips here on how to use the software. So over here you see your channels and we're going to uh, make a new channel at channel 30. And so you would put your receive frequency in here. I'm going to do 146, 520. And it pretty much auto populates with what uh, typically you would want what kind of repeater offsets if you're using a uh, frequency in that range uh, and you can scroll through and just change different things I can name it uh, I'll call this simplex 2 uh, there's the tone mode so if you need uh, whatever CSS tone or whatever it be uh, you can put it there and then you can put the actual tone um, and then there's some more stuff here if you're using digital your digital ID uh, your RX, TX offsets, your power, you can change here for that channel specifically. Um, there's just a ton of different stuff here that you can uh, modify for that specific channel. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to hit delete because I already have a simplex channel. So another cool feature of this program is, and let me change this here. You can actually change the settings of your radio too. So if you go to the settings tab and hit settings, this pulls mostly, but if not all, of the settings in your FT3D. So I'll drag it over so you can see. And there's a ton of stuff. There's too much stuff to cover in one video. Um, you can set passwords for your radio, uh, GPS display signaling, uh, your pager settings, all this stuff is on RX, TX settings. You can do all this on this first tab. Your next one's going to be your G, uh, group mode or the wireless X um, stuff. Then you have your APRS GPS settings, which is a whole nother page in itself. Um, then you have your APRS beacon. So whenever you, if you have APRS uh, enabled, then you can set your beacon stuff up here. And you can put in your program messages so you don't have to use the Yaesu FT3D's uh, little program pad. Um, there's a ton of different options in here. And lastly, here's your memory bank so you can edit those as well. So there's quite a bit of uh, stuff packed in here and uh, I couldn't possibly cover everything. It's something you'll just kind of explore for yourself. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how to program your radio uh, for free, considering any time you search, RT Systems has a monopoly on all the search terms. So whenever you search for how to program a radio, the the official software and uh, doesn't pop up. It's always their software and their fifty dollar kits. And not everybody is fortunate enough to be able to have that type of luxury in their life. Um, but this software works just fine. It doesn't have a few functions that RTMS does. Um, RT Systems. It uh, doesn't have the proximity stuff and like that, so you'd kind of have to search for repeaters on the side and then bring them over. Not a huge deal, but it is a nice thing to have. So once we're finished here, the idea here is we're going to make modifications to our backup and then write that data back to our backup and then restore it on radio. So I'm going to hit communications and I'm going to hit send data to SD card and then you'll want to select that backup.dat folder and say you want to replace the file and now it's updated. You can also save your configuration on your computer as a backup just by saving this this file here somewhere else. That way say you have a certain configuration for your radio if you travel a lot uh, going one place so you want it there when you're there. 
or when you're home, you want it a certain configuration. So that makes it easy for you to be able to select different files uh, for trips or whatever you're doing. So with that said, let's go ahead and close out the software and go ahead and let's move that memory card back into the radio. So we're back on the radio, got our SD card with our new backup file. Go ahead and pop it in there. I always struggle with that. Turn the radio on. You go back, hold in the display key, go to SD card, go to backup, and this time we're going to read data from SD card. Hit OK to read. Now I have had mixed results with the outcome of this. Um, most time everything works fine. Every once in a while my radio will get hung up and I have to pop the battery out and pop it back in. But I've never seen any type of corruption in memory. But just be aware, if you, I have had this glitch before, if your radio after a few minutes still doesn't do anything, uh, sometimes it even starts restarting. What I did was I waited till it restarted and it was off and I just popped the battery back out put it back in and it was good to go. So I am currently experiencing this glitch. My radio is hung up. It shouldn't take more than a few moments to read that data from your SD card. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to power it down. You'll notice that you're unable to power down your radio. So what you have to do is you have to take your battery off. Pop it back in. Turn your radio on. And you'll notice that uh, your new memory channel will be there. Uh, everything will be fine. But if you do experience that just as I did, just make sure you let your radio sit for at least two minutes before you start uh, popping the battery out. Um, I'm not sure what's causing that glitch. It might just be a wrong setting I have in there, but just so you know, if you're experiencing that, uh, that's what you do and everything will be fine. Anyways, so we, we got our radio program. That's how you program your FT3D. I wanted to keep it super simple, um, pretty much right down to the basics. I hope that helped anybody that might be having issues. And hopefully some people who are looking to program their radio for free without buying expensive cables might find this video and see that you don't have to purchase RT Systems pro software to program your radio. If you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it lets me know what you all like. Please hit the like button if you liked the video. Please comment below what kind of other tutorials you'd like to see for the FT3D. 73.